The piano is getting a new board. Why? Well, the present design is complex, powerful, and expensive. It requires 11 devices, a pedal unit, 12 converter PCBs, 12 processing PCBs, 24 Teensy, 12 TFT, 12 converters, Ethernet, at least one Raspberry Pi, and MIDI to a sound generator. What if I took another path and tried to build the simplest DIY hybrid piano? Basically, merge this all together. Here is the new board. 88 inputs divided into 11 8 input converters, plus one for the pedals. Not convinced I can fit all processing in a single Teensy, so use two. For power and clock, converters are tied in pairs to limit loading because each pair drives 16 CNY70 boards plus two converters. Worst case, the current can exceed a quarter amp. With a single board, I can output MIDI direct. Cool. Keep Ethernet for advanced analytics and config. But I don't want to require Ethernet. So four switches for setup. Level indicators to check hammer to sensor height. Converter to Teensy interface logic. What is eliminated? A lot. Added one board. Pop quiz. A. B. C. D. Or E. I had to estimate the quarter inch and MIDI pin spacings, so built an inexpensive test board. That worked. But MIDI, not quite. While waiting for new boards, I made big changes to the Teensy software. Hope it works. New boards arriving in the mail. Exciting. Except this will not work. And prefer not to spend money on a new microscope. I need a workaround. Something very inexpensive. Now there is room. Soldering on parts. Okay, my initial testing is a teensy. Converter, power, clock. Use Ethernet instead of MIDI to minimize changes. Focus the testing on new interface logic and new software. It is always stressful bringing up a new board for the first time. So much work is at risk. Seems to be doing something. Try testing with the keyboard. Okay, let's tackle these problems. I forgot that the ECA boards are rotated compared to the new board. Input 0 and 7 are lowest and highest notes. That is reversed on the new board. So I added this code. Fixing incorrect notes was easy. 11 converters in sets of 8 keys. I just had the wrong starting note. The existing performance boards have a transient during startup. I don't know why. but on the new board, the transient is a longer duration. So I increase the startup wait time by a few microseconds. No soldering problems, that's a first. Try it again. Well, some work is ahead. And I plan to keep working on the original performance architecture too. 